Zidi Smith was born, on, was born in Northwest London in 1975. She is the author of White Teeth, The Autograph Man, On Beauty, and the essay collection, Changing My Mind. She lives in New York City, and this past summer, Smith released her latest novel, NW, which delves into the life of her former Northwest London neighborhood and its residents. Let's give her a round of applause. In Nigeria, a recipient of the MacArthur Foundation Fellowship, she divides her time between the United States and Nigeria. She is the author of the novels Purple, Hibiscus, and Half of a Yellow Sun, and the story collection The Thing Around Your Neck. And her latest novel is Americana. Yes. We're happy to be one of the first stop in New York City in her book tour following her win uh, at the 2013 National Book Critics Circle Awards last week. <laughs> now, without further ado, please welcome to our stage, Shimamanda and Gozi Adichie. She liked the campus, grave with knowledge, the Gothic buildings with their fine laced walls, and the way everything transformed in the half-light of night into a ghostly scene. She liked most of all that in this place of affluent ease, she could pretend to be someone else, someone specially admitted into a hallowed American club, someone adorned with certainty. But she did not like that she had to go to Trenton to braid her hair. <laughs> it was unreasonable to expect a brilliant salon in Princeton. The few black locals she had seen were so light-skinned and black-haired, she could not imagine them wearing braids. And yet, as she waited at Princeton Junction Station for the train, on an afternoon ablaze with heat, she wondered why there was no place where she could braid her hair. The chocolate bag her handbag had melted. A few other people were waiting on the platform, all of them white and lean, in short, flimsy clothes. The man standing closest to her was eating an ice cream cone. She had always found it a little irresponsible, the eating of ice cream cones by grown-up American men. <laughs> Especially the eating of ice cream cones by grown-up American men in public. <laughs> he turned to her and said, about time, when the train finally creeped in, with that familiarity that strangers adopt with each other after sharing in the disappointment of a public service. <laughs> she smiled at him. 
The gray hair on the back of his head was swept forward, a comical arrangement to disguise his bald spot. He had to be an academic, but not in the humanities, or he would be more self-conscious. 